Hey everyone, Cardlin here with a completely unscripted, frequently asked questions video. So, uh, first things first, yes, it is my birthday. Second things second, thank you so much, because you probably said happy birthday either in the comments or on Twitter or on Tumblr, somewhere, anywhere. Um, and I was thinking to myself, you know, how do I want to celebrate my birthday? Do I want to sit back and play video games all day? Do I want to, like, have friends and family over and go eat or something? And the answer apparently is I want to do work because I was thinking that like, you know, I'm, I'm I'm living my dream right now and I'm doing that because of you all. I'm, I'm being able to make these videos every day and make these life changing decisions about like going to go live with my son and stuff. And it's all because of you. And I wanted to give back today. Not that whatever. I, I wanted to do this for y'all because uh, I've been constantly asked a series of questions, and I wanted to, um, record something today and upload something today, other than Talktober. Oh god, this is, uh, more of a ramble than I expected it to be. But basically, I wanted to answer some questions, and if you wanted to hear my big thank you, it's my birthday speech ramble, you can go ahead and fast forward to the end, it'll be there. Uh, for now, I'm going to, uh, read these updated, frequently asked questions that I just have been updating all day. Yeah. So, uh, uh, here we go. Let's start off at the top. First question, who is Cardlin? Answer. This is probably a little more confusing an answer than it needs to be, but here goes. So Cardlin is both the character I voice in all of my videos, as well as the name I use for myself, the voice actor guy at the microphone. Cardlin the character is a bit of a blank slate. At his core, he's an ideal boyfriend who's usually Asian and wears glasses and a red flannel. Um, but people have written him to be all different types of people. Cardlin the voice actor, me, uh, I'm a 34-year-old man currently living in the Silicon Valley of California. I have a son living in the East Coast who I am saving up to go live with, and a long-distance relationship girlfriend who has plans to come join me out here in the future. Question. When do you upload videos? I upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. On the last Friday of each month, I do a shout-out video for my supporters on Patreon. I also upload an erotic audio on the second and fourth Friday of each month. You can tell them apart by the red background. Also, I occasionally stream games on my second channel, Cardlin Casual. Question. What kind of genres do you do? What kind of genres will you not do? I mostly do sweet, caring, romantic, or comforting boyfriend-slash-husband-style roleplays. I'll always be down to try new things, but that's where most of my uploads will hover around. I try to stay away from stories that involve things I personally don't like, such as cheating or genres I'm not really into, like vampires. Question. Wait, you have a son? Yep, proudly so. He's 15 years old and lives in the East Coast with his mom. He's been in a few of my out-of-character videos, and prefers to go by the name No Pause. Question. Wait, you have a girlfriend? Yep, proudly so. Cardlin the character in the videos is different from Cardlin the guy at the microphone, remember? The missus, as she is commonly known by the community, and I just recently celebrated our two-year anniversary. We're in a long-distance relationship, but that should change before 2018 ends. Question. What's your name, slash what do you look like, slash how tall are you, slash will you ever do a face reveal? Actually, I really cherish my privacy and my private life, so I try to keep information about me as a person to a minimum. Besides, Cardlin is meant to be an ideal boyfriend who you can imagine to look like whatever you want. Try as you might, if you knew what I looked like in real life, you'd picture me speaking to you in these audios, not Cardlin. It'd ruin the immersive experience, you know. For those reasons, I plan to keep my identity and everything about it a secret indefinitely. Keep the Cardlin dream alive. Question. Is it awkward talking to yourself when you make the audios? A bit at first, but you kind of just focus on the script and the character and next thing you know, you're done. Question. Is Cardlin your real name or where did the name Cardlin come from? Cardlin is the name of a character I used to write about back when I used to roleplay online a lot. He was a street urchin who had a taste for a refined life, and he'd sneak into the rafters of the local opera house to watch the local starlet, who he was in love with. Question. 
Do you do commissions or can I have a private audio? Sure, you can find all of the information and pricing for my commissions uh, in a link to this video which you'll find in the description below. Question. What equipment do you use to record your audio? So I have an Audio-Technica AT4040 plugged into a Focusrite Scarlett 2i2 2nd Gen USB audio interface. I edit my audio with Audacity and I edit the video together using Vegas Movie Studio 13 Platinum on Steam. That having been said, when I started out and the majority of my videos, they were just being recorded on a blue Yeti mic and I was using Audacity to edit the audio still. So don't let hardware stop you from recording. There's plenty of people who are really deep in the game doing extremely well and they're still just using their phone microphone. Question. Do you have a girlfriend slash boyfriend slash wife slash husband slash significant other? If so, how do they feel about you recording? What do they like? I do indeed have a very special someone, and you all kind of know her. She inspires the majority of my audios. We've been in a long distance relationship for two years now and hope to be living together soon. She's understanding of my recordings and knows how much they mean to me. And the fact that she stows away her jealousy for the sake of letting me continue to do this means the world to me. Lord knows I wouldn't be as understanding if I were in her position. Question. What inspired you to do this? Why do you make videos? I'm an aspiring voice actor and when I saw how well my work was being received on Reddit, I decided to branch out and make something with it. I started off with the intention of building a strong base to launch a more serious voice acting career from, and while that is still very much the goal, I was really touched and amazed by the response from all of you here on YouTube. Knowing that I can help some of you sleep when you're having trouble, or help you smile when times are tough, or help you feel loved when you feel lonely really humbles me while charging me with a feeling of worth and purpose. I came for the career, but to stay for the community. Question. How did you start out with all of this? I started out on Reddit, in their audio subreddits like r slash gone wild audio, r slash pillow talk audio, and r slash recordings, before making r slash audio candy with a dear friend. I started off as a listener before realizing that I should give back to the community I was listening to so much. I figured it was a good marriage between writing and wanting to do voice acting work, and that's what pushed me to make my first audios. Question. I want to start doing what you do. How can I start? There's nothing wrong with starting on YouTube or SoundCloud, but I found that starting on Reddit really helped me due to the community there on subreddits like Audio Candy or, if you're 18 and over, Audio Haven, Pillow Talk Audio, or the very not safe for work 18 only Gone Wild Audio. Question. Is it true you're Filipino? It is. And for those of you who always ask, whether I'm full Filipino or pure Filipino, or however you put it, I am 100% Filipino. My mom's Filipino, my dad's Filipino. I was born and raised in California, but I lived in the Philippines for three years and went to high school out there. Question. Do you monetize your videos or your audios? Do you do this full time? I do monetize my videos on YouTube, though more often than not, they become demonetized. Thanks, Adpocalypse. The bulk of my income comes through my Patreon, where you can hear the full versions of my erotic audios. The previews here on YouTube usually cut out before the Not Safe for Work parts start. Question. Wait, your videos are labeled ASMR, but you're not whispering. How is this ASMR? That's fair. I don't do traditional ASMR style videos wherein the focus is on sounds to give you the tingle down your spine we all know and love. My videos aim for more of an emotional tingle than a sensory one. Question. Do you have any tips for cleaning up my audio recording? I have a few tips for punching up the audio fidelity on most any type of recording via Audacity, and you can find the mini guide, which is really short and easy stuff, in the description below. I'm still an amateur at audio editing, but this might help you get to the next level. Question. Do you have any tips for someone trying to write a script for an audio? I wrote a quick guide of uh, do's and don'ts that I use and you can find it here in the description below. I'm by no means an expert of course, but I've been doing this for a little while now and have some pointers and tips that might help. 
Question. I want to submit a script. How do I do that? If you have a fully written script that you want me to record in a video, just go ahead and email it to me at cardlinish at gmail.com. I don't do every single script I receive, but anyone can submit a script, so don't hold back. Question. You should do a blank script, or I have an idea for a script. Awesome. Go ahead and submit your script in the link below in the script ideas. I take all the script ideas and submit them to the cardigans for you all to vote on. You can find the current set of script ideas to vote on also in the description below, by the way. I then take the highest performing script ideas, as well as some of my favorites, and put them out in bi-monthly writing prompt videos to let all of my budding writers out there know what ideas the cardigans and I want to hear. I take all of the script ideas that don't make the cut and put them in an archive, which you can also find in the description below. Question. I drew some fan art of you. Wanna see it or use it in one of your videos? I do, and thanks for posting it on Tumblr or Twitter or Instagram, but if you could pretty please email it to me at cardlinish at gmail.com, I'd really appreciate it. Bonus points if you can send it to me in a transparency, so I can easily put it on my video background templates. Question. Do you use any social media sites, or where can I find you on social media? I'm on Twitter most often under Cardlin Ish, and you can find me on Tumblr or Instagram as Cardlin Audio. I'm also working on getting my Cardlin Audio Facebook page back up and running. It exists right now, but there's nothing on it yet. Question. What's your favorite blank? Here we go. Favorite food? Filipino food such as giniling or ramen or boba. Favorite color? Earth tones. Green, brown, and orange. Favorite anime? Gurren Lagann, Fully Kuli, or, hmm, the first 15 episodes of Death Note? Favorite movie, Brick, Moulin Rouge, The Life Aquatic. Favorite song or musician, Childish Gambino, Nuja Bess, Sigur Favorite cartoon, Rick and Morty, Steven Universe, Futurama. Favorite Disney movie, Moana, the Hunchback of Notre Dame, and Wreck-It Ralph. Favorite game? Bastion, Journey, and Final Fantasy VI. Favorite ice cream flavor? Vanilla. Favorite candy? Twizzlers. Favorite drink? Dr. Pepper. And finally, question. Do you have any tips for someone starting out or who wants to do what you do? Just do it. Find or write a script you like, Join an audio community, find a quiet place in your home, and just do it. Don't worry about feeling embarrassed or how you look or what people will think. Just dive into the role of the person you're portraying and record it. Secondly, if you're trying to make it on YouTube specifically, find an upload schedule you can realistically adhere to, and then don't waver. You've got this. Alright, that about closes it up for the FAQ. If you have any other questions I missed and I need to add to the list, Go ahead and write them out in the comments below, I'll try to answer them. If you want to see the written version of this, you can either see it in the description below, or you can find it on Tumblr. I'll also put a link to that in the description. Now, on to the reason I made this video. Well, the reason I made this video is to do a frequent asked question. Anyways, on to what I wanted to say, which is, thank you. Thank you for listening to this, for making it this far, for listening to me ramble, for liking my voice, for telling your friends, for coming to me when you needed somebody to listen to, when you need somebody to talk to. Thank you for making my dreams come true. Thank you for making my family better. Thank you for making the lives of my family and myself better. Thank you for being here. Thanks for being strong enough to make it to today. Thanks for all the inspiration, all the humility, all the blessings, just everything you've done for me, just by being here, just by listening, just by being you. I, I wouldn't be where I am today if it wasn't for you. And where I am today is, it's, it's, better than anywhere I've ever been in my life. And I owe that all to you. So, 
on behalf of me, my family, on behalf of my dreams, and just everything I've, I've wanted to be, and I'm slowly watching myself become. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well that about does it for me. Um, I'll see you in the next upload. Yeah? Alright. Cheers, and thanks again for all the birthday wishes. It really means the world to me. You all make me feel like a superstar. Alright, I'm gonna get out of here. <sighs> Cheers. <laughs>